The game will be played on normal. Change of plans. I'm upping the stakes up to merciless. This of course meant I had to go through Kamashida's palace yet again. Which was a slight inconvenience. My next attack will show you the true power of Pixie. Prepare yourself! Don't worry, Yang. I know how to deal with this. Everyone! Guards up! Say what? But in the end, we defeated Kamoshida and brought him to his knees. This is a victory. With Kamoshida in the slammer, I was able to focus on the important things in life. Ah yes. This is the life. Cocksucker, lad. We're staring at the guy that ruined our life. Summon Pixie and let's jump on him. It still annoys me that you can't remember this guy. You'd think you'd remember what he at least looks like. It wasn't that dark, bitch. I could see him perfectly. Okay, where's X? I need X. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh boy. Look at us Texans in class. We're rebels, so we are. Hey, are you sir? It wasn't just me. I wasn't the one even texting. I was just reading. This is outrageous. This is child abuse. Do you know how to drive? Please. I'm a master behind the wheel. Lewis Hamilton has nothing on me. With my essential work complete, I decided it was once again time to get back on the horse and go look for another target. Making my way into the palace, my target was clear. Madarame, the artiste. It was time, but there was one slight inconvenience. Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. What more evidence do you need, pal? The cat was being a dickhead. Fortunately, my guy here asked us to change his heart. So we were off. I began the infiltration immediately, showcasing my skills as a thief. Only an imbecile would fall for these. Where did they come from? Clever. I would only fall for the trickiest of traps. Well played, Mother Ame. Making my way through the palace, I also had the chance to show my tactical side. I sentence you to bedtime. Yes. The big man upstairs is on my side. With my new sense of pride, when the gang was separated, I decided that this was the time for Pixie to shine. Pixie is more than enough to deal with you. No, you die. This went on and on until I eventually won. Unfortunately, if there is one thing I am not, it's humble. And my ego is about to cost me. Oh, don't waste your SP. I am more than enough to deal with this leprechaun. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh. And the game is making me reload the save. Which means I lost about 15 minutes of my life for nothing. Go me. The good news was, I learnt my lesson and began making regular saves. And I even let on deal with the leprechaun. As I continued to plough through the palace, Madarame decided to be clever and block my path. With a door. Not one to be stopped by the smallest of burdens. I sent on to seduce Yusuke. Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Why don't we do it in here? Second fantastic. He won't be able to resist your charms. Needless to say, that door was open in no time. Now it was time for my job. Defeat the boss. The plan was simple. Ryuji would hit him for the big damage, and I'd provide the support. My plan was working perfectly, but at the last moment, he revealed his trump card. Curse! It was difficult. It seemed as though I needed a miracle, so with an abundance of fire throwable thingies, I accidentally discovered his weakness. My opportunity was here. I had victory in the palm of my hands. The strategy had worked. With only one hit needed, the match was finally over. No, this can't be happening. This must be a joke. A cruel joke. What did I do to deserve this? Of course that the strategy worked so well the first time, it decided to stop working. I was beginning to lose hope. I felt as though I had wasted my one shot at this. And then I died again for good measure. Believe it or not though, there was still hope. There was one thing left to try. Ballon passing. With it, I actually did some serious damage. And the moment of truth had arrived once again. Last time, 
I left it to Ryuji, but you are the star. Pixie, bring me victory. That's my girl. My relief, or stupidity, had clouded my judgement though. And I forgot to heal, which meant the next guy just hammered me. Oh, and Yusuke joined the squad too. The enemy proved to be quite smart, taking advantage of technical damage to kill me. Again. But I learnt my lesson. I know what you're going to do. You must take me for an idiot. Yes. Take that, you damned punk. I'll be the one to kill him. You know what? Better you kill him than him killing me. I'll let you have this one, buddy. I saw some plants, and my brain immediately began to think. Plants are definitely weak to fire. Look at them. It screams fire weakness. It's been a bit long by my standards since I've done something stupid. But don't worry, I've got you covered. After making my way up the paintings, I decided the way to go was down. The only reward I got was I had to go straight back up. Go me! I got into a fight with a squid, who proceeded to kick my ass, and then sent his mates after me. But I made the mate join the cult of Pixie for a blood sacrifice later on. I saw an opportunity to practice my thievery, and by god lads, I was amazing at it. Oh shit, it's the others! I'll jump up. And that was a terrible idea. I probably deserved this, you know. This cost me about five minutes. Nothing major, but every second counts in this game we call life. Oh, and I lost one of my sacrifices for the blood ritual. Lads! Would you look at this? This is piss easy. Wow. Only an idiot would get these wrong. Yep. That's me being humble once again. Impossible. Saying what? But that's got a branch. That has to be the right one. Okay. This is the only one here that has a branch. Impossible. This is fake news. How did I not remember this? Finally, I was here. It was time to challenge Madarame. Right now. Except the game wouldn't let me. So I decided to get the will seed instead. Which, to be quite frank, was the dumbest fight I've ever witnessed. It was absolute fucking chaos. I shocked him, he killed on, and nearly killed the other three. I missed, I froze him and did a technical. He brainwashed three of them, and then they fucked me over. Thanks lads, just what I needed. I froze him again and then knocked him down. I froze him again straight after, and then he one-shot me when I had near full health with a move I wasn't even weak to. You gotta be kidding me. I decided this palace was pure bollocks and stole the treasure so I could destroy the damn thing. I thank you, Madarame. I feckin' don't. And I certainly didn't when I engaged in this fight. Now, I don't mean to sound dramatic, but the amount of times this feckin' guy bent me over, I could have me to him. He had loads of moves that could one-shot my entire team, so it was death after death after death. Sometimes, he wouldn't even wait. He just one-shot me as soon as the fight began. Hate this fucking guy. Slowly but surely though, I was beginning to learn. If I was lucky enough to survive, I needed to focus on the eyes and the nose. So I used physical attacks. I'd focus on the mount after I was done with the damn eyes and nose. Eventually, I got pretty far. I was doing alright. Until I completely fucked it. Oh, I actually managed to avoid it. He's definitely going for me. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Why? What did I ever do to you? So I kicked Yusuke out and put On in instead. Mostly to kill the ice guys. On? You had one fucking job. I'm not celebrating surviving because I know I am fucked. Here's to another hour, lads! Fortunately for me, it only took me one more death before I made it back. Which, by my standards, is pretty fucking good. Then, after I killed one of the fire guys, I had an epiphany. No one on my team was weak to fire. So if I let those three live, he couldn't summon the problematic ones that could kill us. He did get me with the paint move once, and I nearly shat myself. But I knew I'd have a fighting chance if I raised my defense. And thank fuck I did, because I was definitely dead if I didn't do it. My plan had paid off brilliantly. The Fire Mother Amis couldn't do enough damage to put me in serious trouble, and I used Morgana to heal while I slowly wilted away at his health. Come on, let's not fuck this up now lads. 
Ice cream is on me if we don't fuck it. Beautiful Morgana. I love you. You know that fucking beautiful cat. And then Yusuke stood over him like he kicked his ass, even though he did fuck all in the fight. But fair enough. But then, while I was at home, I realized something. Something bad. I owe the entire team ice cream. <laughs>